Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to my first ever Bowman case break. Uh, I know it's kind of early in the morning, so I'm kind of semi-titling this a Bowman brunch break. I honestly think this is the earliest I've ever opened a pack of baseball cards. <laughs> so decided to do this today because I've got the next couple days off, and I know uh, Wednesdays, Tuesdays, Thursdays are kind of a difficult night, especially for a few of my regular uh, participants who... Yeah. Deb, <laughs> who've been wanting to watch this live. So so welcome. Good morning. Um, let's not waste any more time. I'll get right into the uh, the case here. Uh, Amy, literal quirk, is in the background. She's helping again. Hello. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I told you this, Amy, but uh, some people have been complimenting the, the sorting. <laughs> and I've been giving you the credit, so. Yeah. Yeah. So we all appreciate that uh, you're here helping us out. So, um, for those watching that don't already know, the uh, charity that we're benefiting is called St. Baldrick's. It's a charity that I recently happened to come across. Um, they do a lot of children's cancer research. And they kind of work a little bit like uh, if any of you guys have ever done Movember uh, or No, uh, no Shave November. Um, the whole point is to, like in November, you would grow a mustache and, and raise charity that way. Well, in, uh, for St. Baldrick's, uh, you'd shave your head and raise money uh, that way. And you're supposed to do it in groups. And I, I didn't come across that soon enough to uh, um, threaten to shave my head to raise money. So maybe next year I'll do that. But uh, thanks to one extraordinarily generous participant, um, and I'll just give you a shout out right now. Her name is also Deb, Deb P. She's uh, fairly new, uh, relatively new. She came in after she found out that we were doing St. Baldrick's and uh, picked up the last, I'd say, about dozen slots that were available. Unbelievably generous. So thank you so much, Deb. You are incredibly amazing for doing that for us. So, All right, so we've got our case of uh, Bowman Jumbo. As I said, I've never done a box, let alone a case of uh, Bowman before. So now I have heard and I have seen that everybody and their uncle has uh, pulled the Jose Abreu autograph and even multiples out of a case, which is the reason why I point that out is because I've also heard that people, and I, I don't know exactly who, but some people have been charging upwards of $300 for that slot. And I guess, knowing my luck, I won't pull any of a auto. So that's why I'm kind of glad that I'm, I think my uh, White Sox slot was something like 70 bucks. Um, I, I just didn't like the prospect of, uh, you know, overcharging just because of a certain prospect. Um, I haven't heard many people pulling Chris Bryant, which is the other big one. Obviously, Bryant and Abreu. Both Chicago. How odd is that? Um, I haven't heard of anyone pulling many Bryant's. So my luck is we'll pull Bryant, but no Abreu's. So all right. Well, let's get into this. This is going to be the first K, uh, first jumbo box out of the case. Uh, eight boxes, of course. Uh, three Bowman Chrome autos in every box. Now I've heard and seen uh, from people like Brent uh, that that has not been the case um, quite a bit. Sounds like Tops is still having some collation issues, and uh, hopefully by 2015 they'll be able to figure out those issues. And naturally, got my snacks. Now this worked really well. This combination last time we did uh, Gypsy Queen, we were supposed to have 42 hits, and that's when I changed up to the Mint M&Ms and Diet Mountain Dew. We ended up with 48 <laughs> hits. It worked. It actually worked. Nice. <laughs> okay, pack number one. I'm guessing hits are going to be right in the middle like they were uh, last time. I actually bought uh, some retail packs, and the autograph was right on the top of the uh, the retail. So uh, just as usual, I'll be just kind of, uh, you know, kind of looking through real quick, and we'll be focusing mostly on the hits here. I know that uh, in collating, a lot of the cards come in upside down. Uh, oh, finally, this is my first Twins that I pulled from Bowman. Um, and that just comes from how they put the, the, the sheets together. There's an orange Cabrera. We've got a mini uh, Seth Mahias Breen. Uh, all these prospects, I have no idea how to say their names. We've got a blue chrome Daniel Robertson, regular chrome Jacob uh, DeGrom, 
a lot of these at the end, I guess, are all going to be Chrome, so I guess I won't announce who is who here. Um, then we're back to regular Bowman cards. Big time Timmy Jim followed by Francisco Lariano. All right. Well, there's your first stack to... There you go. Go ahead. <laughs> so Jeff says, good morning. I am here, although I will be leaving around 1 for the Phillies game today. Uh, so when you say 1, do you mean 1 oh, Central or 1 11. Eastern? No, probably means noon for us. That's my guess. Mm -hmm. Well, we won't be done by then, I'm pretty sure. So, all right, where's the best angle? Here we go. All right, so a lot of these upside down, like I said, that's because that's just how they put their sheets together. Well, this is going to take me longer. <laughs> it might take you a little while. So we got our first uh, top 100. This is Victor Sanchez. I got to figure out a better way to do this here. This is not working quite as well as I wanted it to. Joe Maurer. All right. So that's pretty much it for that one. Uh, she says 1 a.m. or 1 Eastern. I'm very excited that Tops decided to include Utley in this product. Yeah, I'm excited they decided to include any twins in this product. So. <laughs> her boyfriend. Which? I, I thought all of the Phillies were. Not Chase Utley. Just Chase. Favorite. Just Chase. Okay. I, that I, I can gather. I think. I'm going to position myself. Sorry. By the way, may the fourth be with you. Okay. <laughs> there, this will work a little better. Big cat Gaddis. Hopefully I can come across a better hit here, like an autograph, so I know where they're going to be stuck. Just guessing they'll be in the middle, as usual. There you go. So why is it going to take you longer, do you think? I just figured out if some of them are going to start from behind because some of them, their logos are covered. Oh. And they don't list the team except for the symbol at the bottom. So See, that's what I was doing, was just going by the logo at the bottom. So, yeah. yeah. You're faster than I am. I don't know about that. Sure. See, next time, Tops, think about my wife, will you? Yes. Make the logos yes. more apparent. Tops. Come on, guys. Let's get with it. Got a blue world as Chapman. Got up. There's our first hit. So, yeah, it's going to be in the middle. Roni Bautista, Yankees prospect, um, Bowman Cromato. And it's a refractor. It's numbered 192 of 500. I believe Kirk has the Yankees this time. Now, that's something, aim that you're going to notice. Mm -hmm. is uh, people aren't taking the same slots that they normally would. Why is that? Bowman is just that way. It's uh, it's more about the prospects than it is necessarily about the teams that people are chasing. So, like, uh, someone that normally wouldn't do Cubs would probably do Cubs to try to get their particular prospect. Just like last year when Byron Buxton had his big autograph in Bowman yeah. last year, people that wouldn't normally take ten, uh, Twins took Twins just in case they got Byron Buxton because his autograph is worth quite a bit, so... All right, so we got our first autograph out of the way. And you said these are are still in the yeah. staff. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Kirk! You got hit number one. These are gonna be kind of harder to. I almost might as well not even show what else I'm pulling here because I'm trying to... I've learned... There's a Chris Bryant regular card. Yeah, this, is, this is a, a state, I think, state card for Chris Bryant. There is our second auto. This one's Chris Bostick of the Rangers. This one does not appear to be a refractor. It is not. But still a nice autograph otherwise. And I think this is Raymond H. What's this? Rangers. Rangers. Yeah. Yep. So congratulations, Raymond. You got the second autograph out of the box, so we just need one more autograph. And Bowman is not known for putting uh, relics or jersey pieces in there, so it's going to be mostly autographs. And I haven't heard anything about any sort of short prints, so I don't think we'll be looking for those at all. It's basically going to be like those mini cards that might be short printed. We might see some die cuts. Well, it's nice that I have at least uh, two viewers this morning. Who else is there? Uh, well, I've got just Deb in the chat room. I don't know who else is uh, 
their viewing, but uh, so we got all these upside down cards. We just kind of there's Jose Mil Pinto, another Twins card, yay! Upside down, upside down, upside down. Yay, upside down. Really all right, so we're got a Jose Abreu Chrome Mini. That's nice. Followed by a Will Myers throwback. Um, is this an ice? What are they calling this one? Too bad that's not a real signature. Guys. That's uh, one of the nicer Will Myers signatures, even if it's a faux signature that I've seen in a long time. And then we've got our chromes and our upside down cards. Yeah. Let's, let's see. There we go. Some nice inserts in that pack. See, this is what I talked about. What I was talking about earlier. How just kind of like bland. Yeah. You know. Yeah. They did that on purpose to differentiate from their. In the, in the cut. Yeah, I've heard that about this year. Some of the cuts were a little bit off. Quality control isn't at its highest this year, it seems, but. All right. Well, it looks like we've got some more inserts. We'll just start from there and go backwards. We've got another Chrome Mini. This is Jake Johansson from the Nationals. And then we've got Greg Maddox. That's a nice one. The throwback. Sorry, I've got my window open. <laughs> See my shades. The card. Yeah, let's focus on the card. Hey. It's a nice looking card if, if my camera would just focus on it. Hey, buddy. Oh, well. But there it is, Greg Maddox. And our Chromes. And our vets, upside down cards, and the rest of the cards from the front of the stack. Derek Jeter. There we go. Some more decent inserts. And we have 32 cards in the pack, so this is like. Pops Jumbo with 50 cards per pack, so this isn't going to be quite as big, but no, it looks like we've got something on the back here. Let's see what's on the back. It's an ad card, coming to Bowman Chrome. Oh, the Bloomberg Sports Stats, that's right, that's, I remember that. So this is a stats card, so I get to keep this. Yay. <laughs> Yay me. So we'll just go to the middle here. Eddie Rosario, I get to keep this one. Yay. Those well, dividends are paying off. Yeah, they are. <laughs> a little dusty. Matt McPherson, Chrome card. And the front end of the stack here. Man, they're all upside down. Each and every one of them. <laughs> okay, well, well, flip those right side up. There we go. That'll make it easier on my, my lovely wife. Mm -hmm. yeah, she sounds so excited. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Debra Grease, Will Myers uh, autograph is the worst in the majors. Yeah, I keep saying Will Myers needs to introduce himself to Michael Kadire. <laughs> um, those watching, just remember... Um, any card that is not assigned to a team automatically goes to me, which means I get this lame insert. Yay! And this is this doesn't have to be a drinking game. Those who have done the last couple of drinking uh, case breaks with me, we did a drinking game, but it's 10 in the morning, so... I know. Well, hey, Sunday people drink mimosas and Bloody Marys oh, in the morning. Okay. All right. I think Rich B said he was uh, bringing the Bloody Marys. All right. We'll go to the middle and start there. Mookie Betts, number 66 of the top 100. That's your second one here. It, of the top 100, though? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think it is. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, that's, great. that's great. So, aim next year when we do this for St. Baldrick's. You going to shave your head? No. Oh. I don't think so. Oh, I think I would. I'd do it. See, I think I'd do it if the slots weren't all sold out, and I really wanted to make sure I was getting the full 150 to to send to St. Baldrick's. I'd do it if somebody donated a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars of their one one donation. 
thousand dollars, I would take. Well, you would need proof that they did that. Now, what would your proof be? It's not a crack and wax break without M and M's and Mountain Dew. See, she Deb knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I I changed it up. These are mint M and M's, chilled because I'm fussy. Yes, he is. And Diet Mountain Dew, and it worked so well last time. Not well enough to get me a Twins hit finally, but well enough to we got six extra hits and just Gypsy Queen. So, all right, oh, we've got some decent inserts in this pack here. So we've got a Trevor Bauer Mini Chrome and a Devin Williams Brewers Ice. Still looking for our third and final autograph. Got a Jonas Suspedis, Suspedis, or as I like to say, Suspedis. Oh, Trout was upside down and no one else was. Fantastic. Let's put aside back here. So, Deb, who's, uh... Yeah, she says. It's uh, chilled M&M's. Haha, you're so fussy. Now, it's just the mint or the peanut butter M&M's that I do chilled. I don't chill the dark chocolate peanut M&M's. That's just wrong. And he doesn't eat hot food. If it comes out hot, it has to sit for a while before he eats it. And ice cream has to sit for a while, too. And uh, depending on the cereal, that has to soak for a while, too. It's ironic that you marry You're somebody right. who's in. Yeah. Who cares about that? So, Deb, who are the Phil's playing today? DJ Davis Chrome Mini Refractor and a Gus Schlosser Ice. This was the penultimate pack, by the way, of this uh, oh, jumbo box. So, I was waiting. Yeah. That Nick Punto, oh, that's under you. I thought it was Nick Punto for a second. Who, who wouldn't confuse Nick Punto with Andre Ethier? Oh. Huh. <laughs> um, oh, they're playing the Nationals, she says. Let's see. Was supposed to be a nice match of if Gio Gonzalez and Cole Hamels. Hamels is sick, huh? So I shouldn't be playing Cole Hamels today in Tops Bunt. Gotcha. All right, one pack left. We're short one autograph, so this tells me either we're going to be short an autograph or the last autograph is in this pack. Or I totally blew by one and didn't notice. I doubt that. So let's go to the middle. Oh, we do have an autograph. It's a paper autograph, though, so Brent was right. Um, I don't think this person is in the majors yet, so this is going to be going to me. Uh, this is Hunter Harvey, uh, 2012 national team. Unless he was picked up by a major league team, I'll have to do some research on that. Um, Bandy's High School in Catawba, North Carolina. Doesn't say that he's with anybody just right now. So, Well, he was drafted by the Orioles. See, Deb is just so smart. Well, yeah. we'll put this to the side here. Not that I don't trust Deb, but I just want to make absolutely sure. Got our chromes here. A little dust on the chromes, from, probably from cutting. I noticed that a lot in Gypsy Queen this year, so much uh, cardboard and dust. So if that was the case, then uh, Orioles. Who's got Orioles? I want to say it's... Uh, Alex. Alex. Oh, Alex. That's the only one that doesn't have a card yet. Oh, oh, well, fantastic. Alex is from Minnesota. He's from Marshall, I believe. Oh, it's all Southwest. Mm-hmm. Got another Twins card. This is Lewis Thorpe, one of our prospects in there. All right, well, that's box number one. Fantastic. How's it going there? Slow. Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Not into it yet. I'm tired. You're not wearing a Star Wars card, that's fine. What? Shirt? You're not wearing any Star Wars stuff, that's fine. Oh. That's true. You almost sounded like Chewbacca there. <laughs> oh, Fidge. Okay. Behind the camera is a window seat for the cats, and I sprinkled some catnip on it, and she's going nuts. I'm trying to keep her away from the camera because they love to just snuggle up against it and almost had the camera fall a couple times ago. Thanks, guys. 
and our basement flooded last week, and Yay. the camera was very close to the to the water. <laughs> I'm very glad. No cards or anything were near the water, but but my supplies were pretty close by. Computer was very close by. Hmm. Yay for old houses. Yeah. Box number two. Actually, let me get these hits closer here just so I can keep track of them on screen. So we've got the Chris Bostic, the Romy Bautista, and the Hunter Harvey paper. Pack number one, pack number one, pack number one. It's actually kind of fun doing this in the morning. I should do this more often. We'll go right to the middle, and we've got a blue Chris Kohler parallel, and a mini Matt Davidson, Bowman Chrome, and then right into... The rest of the regular cards. Yay, Orioles. Almost all of these were right side up this time. Nope, I take that back. Half of them were right side up. <laughs> How do you do that? Every time you say something or make a prediction about it, it's just... I predict I won't get any twin sets. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hello, new people joining in. Hey, uh, by the way... Don't go too far away. I do have some amazing news about the next charity case break. Okay, we got a Pablo Sandoval, regular blue. We've got a Jose Abreu, top 100. He's number 34. Then we've got a blue chrome of Tucker Newhouse for the Brewers. Hi, Fidge. She's playing with the, the shades now. Jeez. Wow, cat. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Johnny Cueto. Thought I saw Carlos Gomez just buzz by. Can't can't believe the catnip hasn't worn off those two yet. And I just have to say, I've Ouch. this is a fairly okay. Bye guys. Fairly small sample size, but I I actually kind of like the design of these ones. I, dare I say. The better design than uh, Top's flagship this year. And if I'm correct, Sam, the same guy, uh, designed both sets. I know he for sure designed the Bowman logo. I saw him talk about that. We've got a green parallel of Dustin Pedroia. And we've got our first auto. This is a Mets Casey Meisner. Now, is this, first of all, this green uh, Pedroia is numbered to 150. And Casey Meisner is not a refractor, but it's still, I love these on-card autos. Love them, love them, love them. Put that right there. Ryan Eads, Chrome for the Twins. Yes, I am going to announce every time I come across a Twins card because that's my shtick. I have so many shticks. Okay, so for those wondering why some of these cards are upside down in the packs. There's a very good explanation for that, and as soon as I get done going through these cards, I'll, I'll kind of explain what's going on for those that don't already know. Um, there we go. So when Tops and maybe some other companies too, but specifically Tops puts together their, their big sheets. So if you've ever seen an uncut sheet, um, when they're laying it out, and I don't know what the specific reason for it is, but uh, they'll lay like a row out going one direction and another row the other direction. And a lot of times that's to help them cut so that they know where the top and the bottom uh, of each card kind of di uh, differs from each other. Um, so they get a good idea of whether or not they've made it, uh, an accurate cut. Um, now there's no real way to... Um, to differentiate side by side, especially when you're flipping upside down. Um, but for instance, side by side, you know, there's not much difference there. But back to back, you can definitely tell which card is upside down. You know, um, so that's kind of the reason why they do that. Now, unfortunately, when they're collating, a lot of those cards end up upside down too. It's not a huge deal. I mean, honestly, who really cares? Um, but when you've got someone helping you out in the background sorting cards for you, it kind of slows things down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the middle again. we got a 
gold, I believe this is the gold, not the yellow, um, of Andre Rienzo. This is numbered to 50 Oops. for the White Sox. Uh, White Sox is John S. John S. Winesley from Oxtopia. Uh, Andrew Tolles, uh, mini chrome refractor. And then you know the rest of the story here. So who else uh, who else wants to shave their head next year for this uh, Bowman case break if we do this again next year? Because this this would be a good one to do annually for St. Baldur. It's kind of like how annually I do uh, Ellen and Ginter for Big Brothers Big Sisters. And my wife said if someone donates a thousand dollars. Personally, I would want to do that. I could check to see if I can do that for work. What's that? If they'd be okay if I shaved my head for work. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, my job would be because I mean, look at Mark. Well, <laughs> he's half bald anyway. Yeah. Now, the rules on the shaving your head, I think they said on the website, it can be clippers. It doesn't have to be bicked like, yeah. to your head. All right, next pack, going straight to the middle. It starts with a. Bowman Chrome Refractor Mini of C.J. Edwards for the Cubs, and then a Derek Jeter, 89. I think these are the ice parallels. Pretty cool. Is there anyone that doesn't have a card over there yet? Nope. Everyone's got a card. Fantastic. And Alex O. has one. Alex O. Has, might have two. Actually, now three. Okay. So I just went past an Orioles. So if that uh, Hunter Harvey is actually... An Orioles dude, then that's his faux show. All right. After I get through this box, I'll kind of go over what the huge news is for the next case break. The next charity case break is Ellen Gifford, of course, and annually I always I always do my best to make that make that one a big deal because. That was my very first ever charity case break, so I try to make that. Ooh, I think I got a hot, uh, I got a blue wave hot pack. What does that mean? That means um, a lot of the inserts are all going to be a specific type of parallel, and you'll see them when you come up. It won't be every card, but every uh, parallel. So we've got a blue wave hot pack. We're going to start with Chase Anderson of the Diamondbacks. These are not numbered, but they're still really cool. I've never actually had a blue wave. Refractor in my hands before, so this is cool. Robert uh, Zellman, I think that's how you pronounce that. Gazellman. And there's a Blue Wave Refractor autograph of Luke Jackson. So that goes to Raymond H. Get a better shot of that. Of course, there we go. Very nice. Put that over there in the hits. Uh, Ryan Stanek. And Chris Bostic, so another Chris Bostic, but this one is uh, the Blue Wave Refractor Parallel. Colin Moran, this one has a little bit of a schmutz over here, so I apologize about that. That's how it came into the pack, though. Chris Moran, or Moran, for the Marlins. And then the normal cards. Here's my coming to Bowman Chrome insert. We'll just put that over there. Award myself with one of those awesome cards. <laughs> My neck getting sore. Again. Yes. Here, take a look at the, this is what a blue wave looks like. These are actually these are a lot cooler in person than I thought they'd be. This is really cool. Here. Oh well, yeah. That is neat. They also have, I believe, red wave and black wave, if Ooh. I remember correctly. Yeah. I love how they call that a hot pack because there are five of them in there. Usually, to me, a hot pack means every card. <laughs> it's the same. All right. And we've got another autograph. This one's for another another Yankee autograph, believe it or not. Uh, Leonardo Molina. This one does not appear to be a refractor. It is not. Lewis Thorpe Chrome for Twins.
dead air. You know they hate that on the radio, dead air. Yeah. Good thing I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> Be fired. Maybe a pretzel? Yeah, that's her that's her mojo is pretzel. Well sunflower seeds, if I couldn't do that. <laughs> sunflower heat. <laughs> Alex Gordon is apparently from I can't see. What does it say back there? Nebraska, okay. I guess I didn't recognize the Nebraska flying in the background. Well, they have state and country parallels okay. where it shows their state or country flag behind them. Okay. All right. And we've got our third autograph of the box. This one is a blue parallel. Kansas City Royals pitcher, looks like. Rookie card, so not a prospect, but a rookie card of Jordano Ventura. And I know I'm saying that correctly because we used to have a governor in Minnesota named Ventura, not Ventura. Ventura. We don't speak of that time. Hey, we got, uh, well, you weren't living in Minnesota at the time, but that was one of the few times that we actually got money back from taxes was under him. Since when did we... We got a surplus. Out? I know, but... I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If we're going to say that there were any positives to having Ventura in office, it was because we got our surplus taxes back. Okay. And we got to have a professional wrestler in office, so yeah. that was cool. Puke. Sorry. <laughs> Thought I heard Mick Foley was supposed to be running for office at some point. You're like, who's that? I know who he is. Mm -hmm. I don't care for him. Why not? Mm -hmm. Seems well. Thank I know you. this is kind of an oxymoron, but a very dramatic, like, 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 what was martyr? Kind of like a martyr? I don't know, just... Mm. You know what's going to happen? He's going to be watching this. <laughs> Hi, Mick, you need to lay off the martyrdom. <laughs> kind of like when I uh, tweeted about John Popper without hashtagging or Did anything like that. Did you say that, that Earl? Did you tell the... Have you ever mentioned that on your blog? Well, I just made a joke about myself, and oh, she's laughing about Deb's laughing about our conversation. <laughs> um, I just made an offhand comment about how I looked in an old picture, saying that I was doing my best John Popper impersonation. I didn't hashtag it or or uh, at symbol it or whatever you want to call it. I didn't tag him, and I just plain old said John Popper. The dude the next that night actually replied to me. <laughs> commenting that I commented about him. I'm like, wait a minute. So He agreed with you, did he not? No. Well, no. What did he say? He didn't make mention that I was making fun of either one of well, us. Well, what did you say? He commented on there was an old school scanner behind me. Oh, like, yeah. oh it's going to get the drop on you. Like It's yeah, yeah, coming yeah. to get me. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, To me, I, what I took away from that was that he must have his name in a search. Probably. Looking for anyone that says anything about him. Because I said something, I think I said... Oh, burned by John Popper or something like that, and then he liked yeah. that. So he must be pretty active on. I mean, if it is him, I can't imagine he is. Oh, it's him. He, it's a verified account, so I know it's no, him. No, I mean, sure. that someone's not doing it for him. I can't imagine he's that busy. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Zimmer, top 100 for the Royals. We better hurry this up because Deb has to go in about an hour or so. I'm actually glad she was able to finally catch one of these. Yay. Thanks for being here, Deb. Is Deb going to the game or working? She, she said she's going to the game. Oh, fun. Yeah. I missed that. Unless she's working at the stadium. It's possible. Is she working the game? Deb, are you working the game? Okay. I was going to actually volunteer for... She said she's not. <laughs> to get into the... All-star team? Oh, yeah, you were talking as a... Um, first responder. First responder, yeah. yeah. They need them. Yeah. You wouldn't be allowed to watch the game. Yeah. You, you could, could just sit in a chair and watch it, and then when you get paged, you just go... Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. cool. Do it. RJ Cole, mini refractor for the Nationals, followed by a... Yay! A cool card twins. for the Twins. Lewis Thorpe <laughs> Ice. You're never that excited. I'm never excited. See, I told you, saying, oh, this is a poorly cut card. Me being uh, negative about getting twins is getting me some twins. Oh, good. I love that when you're like that. 
You're being negative. No, I'm not. I'm being realistic. Works every time. That's his tagline, by the way, in case you're wondering. What works every time? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, unless you consider autographing working the game. Well, yeah, Deb, I think some people would say that. <laughs> But that counts. Deb, you're not an autograph hound, are you? Only for two something. Like you're you're actually nice to the guys. You don't like chase them down the street as they're trying to drive away. I might pay to see a video of Deb doing that. <laughs> Chase! Chase Utley! Chase Utley! Remember Chase! me! I'm the girl that drooled on you! I dedicate my life to you! <laughs> she, she, she only seeks autographs in the park. All right, uh, boom. Which, which park? <laughs> Central Park. Uh, DJ Peterson, uh, Mariner's Bowman Chrome Mini, followed by a 1989. Um, can't read the autograph there. Oscar Taveras, there we go. Now that's a really interesting way to spell Wilmer. W-U-I-L-M-E-R. Okay, I'm not... Sorry, hon, I'm not... It's taking me too long to flip these upside-down okay. cards. There's Cuddy, upside-down Cuddy. We miss Cuddy in the worst way up here. Oh, my gosh. You are naming our dog Cuddy if we ever get a dog. Yep. Once uh, one of us figures out how to not be so darn allergic to dogs... Well, you were super allergic to cats before we met cats. I still kind of am. Every time I get one of their hairs in my eye, I'm done for the day. I think it's Remember funny. when we went to Tony's and Shawnee's? That's my brother and his wife, by the way. They've got a cat that's a lot like our own cats, and I just got one hair in my eye, and I had to go home. <laughs> oh, Fidge. Speaking Fidge. of cats, I'm going to tell the house down. Wow. Eduardo Rodriguez, uh, Bowman Chrome Mini, followed by a... Rymel Tapia, or Tapia, probably Tapia. Um, oh my gosh. Hey, Jit. I'm just glad she's doing that over there oh and not on the table. Oh, wow. All right, so this was the last pack of this box, so we got our we got all of our autographs out of the way. Yankees so far are, I don't want to say dominating, but they do have more hits than the other teams at this point. And uh, she does say... Uh, Phillies have their annual charity event in two weeks. Get ready. Have a ticket for the photo booth with Chase. Swoon. Ah, yay, Deb. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe she can quickly shave his head for ball tracks. I could say so many inappropriate, dirty things right now, but I don't want the kids who might be watching to know what I'm saying. So, I think so Deb, good. just know that I've got some bad things in mind. Oh my gosh. We'll, we'll direct message you about that later. She says, oh good grief. <laughs> I'm sorry, Deb. Sorry, everybody. She's not sorry. She's thinking it too. <laughs> I am, Deb. Typically, she thinks of it before I no, do. No, that's not true. I am. I am. Pure Where do you think I got saint. all of my filthy ideas? I am a saint. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Should be a charity for me. St. Ingrid's. What? I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. You slept for 12 hours. I So did I. Yeah, we're like, let's take a nap at 7 o'clock last night. <sighs> Alarm gets us up at like 6. Like, ah. Just think. Think if you have no caffeine today. I know. That's what it, where I'm at. She's like, oh, she's calling us nerds. You know. Hey! I, that is first accurate. pack, first pack, first autograph. Guess what team? Twins. No. Yankees. Yep. All right. So Yankees again. Kirk, you're cleaning up today. Uh, blue Refractor, J.R. Murphy. There you go. Yay. Give some other teams a chance, Kirk. Jeez, you jerk. <laughs> uh, this one is numbered to 250. Way to go, What? What? Oh, Kirk's a good guy. Yes, Kirk admires my sorting abilities. If I re am I remembering correctly that he was the one? Who he probably does, but I don't think he's the one that mentioned it. Who was, no. no, but who's the one who was on my side that I need a sorting box? Uh, well, probably everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Kirk is also from Minnesota. 
Say it's cool that I have all these people from Minnesota that break with me, but I'm the one that gets all the twins slots. Sometime we'll have to have a live break at our house. Or at Target Field. Grilling. At Target Field. At Target Field. Yeah. Oh, Hunter Dozier, not Brian Dozier. Dang. Um, no, that's that's what I really want to do. Is I want to do a break at Target Field. How? I'll figure it out. We'll go to a game, have a bunch of us go to a game, bring a case like, along, maybe sit out in the pavilion or something. Get tickets to the... The standing room, standing room, what? Oh, I was the Millennium. Like, the Millennium Club? You know where they were all Metropolitan? Those? Metropolitan Club. Sorry. Do you know what the Millennium Club is? Well, it's, it's a bar, bar in the yeah. cross, and it's a hotel downtown. Yes. Yep. So, I've had drinks at both places. I'm sure you have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got second pack, second autograph. This time, for the Phillies. Yay! Who has the Phillies? I'm pretty sure it's Kirk. No. I'm kidding. Of course I know. Who has the feeling? Chase Utley's girlfriend. That would be Deb. Hey, look what we got for you. Michael Franco. I have to look at his spelling of Michael because that's not how I spell it. <laughs> this one is a regular chrome. It's not a refractor. Sorry, Deb. We suck. <laughs> not Chris suck. Not me. That's I suck, not you. You suck. I don't suck. Oh, I thought you were saying that I suck things that aren't you. Oh, my God. I'm just interpreting what you're saying. No. You're Watch doing, your mouth. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Did I see gold stamping in here? Do we have gold? No. Okay. I was going to say, if they slipped some other weird kind of parallel in there. She says Michael Franco is probably the Phillies' top prospect. Very cool. Which probably is saying something pretty good about him because the Phillies didn't do too well last year. They probably got a nice draft pick out of their performance last year, I would hope. Third pack, we've got a Bowman Chrome Mini of Jose Peraza. I know I said that wrong because I'm, I'm dark. Derek Jeter ice. A couple of good Derek Jeter pulls today. Tori Hunter, Bryce Harper, Andre Ethier. Phillies Cliff Lee. So for those watching, the only reason why I'm calling this out is because Deb right now is the only person in the chat room. <laughs> so as soon as someone else starts speaking up here, we'll start making fun of you too. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just about to say, oh, this feels like a thick pack, but they're all going to be oh, the same size because there's oh. not going to be anything big in here. The biggest thing that they have is there's this massive like uh, six prospect book, but I think that's a I think that's a redemption card anyway. So, all right, we've got a blue paper parallel of Jay Hay and a black. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the top 100 of Colin Moran again. So we might have our first insert dupe. It's better than an auto dupe. The only auto dupe I want to see is either of uh, a twin or of Jose Abreu. Other than that, I don't like auto dupes and case breaks. Just how I feel about it. I'm a bit of a case break snob that way. Well, thanks to those, I see four of you are here. So, I mean, that's not a huge number, but being that it's not even 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning, thanks for coming in and checking it out. I know people had some things to do, church and stuff like that. We actually have to go later today. We went last night. Yeah, we, we, and then we, Twice in one weekend. That's right. Going to church, yeah, that's right. Fake sitters. Oh, yeah. See. For sleeping for 12 hours. <laughs> okay, there's another Derek Jeter... Uh, 1989, so we've got another dupe insert, Mark uh, Mac Williamson, Bowman Chrome Mini. Is that A-Rod? No, okay. The guy just stands and looks like A-Rod. <laughs> now, if, if, if you looked like A-Rod, uh -huh. would you do everything in your power to not look like A-Rod? Like, would like you go so? Surgery? Would you go that far? Possibly. Like, if you look like Hitler, would you? Ooh, I, well, first shave my mustache. Well, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But yeah, for sure, I think so. Now you're just 
You're comparing A Rod to Hitler, by the way. That is correct. <laughs> wow. This video is going to go viral. Oh, good. Oh. Oh. oh good. Take it, Bobby. Oh. All right, we've got an oh. orange parallel of Jeff Samardzija. I hope I said that right. I've been practicing his name. Yeah, Samardzija. All kinds of wrong. Is that Samardzija. Exactly? It might be. It's like the Janit Nananajad or whatever from Office Space. Nananajad. Not, not, not going to work here anymore. Right. <laughs> Number to 250. Then a Joey Gallo, Bowman Mini. Mm -hmm. Okay. How's my twin stack looking? Actually, not as. You have more than the Marlins and the Orioles, weirdly enough. And that's saying something. It's How are the Astros doing? Uh, actually, a little bit more than the about the same as this one. Okay, okay. Okay. Because uh, I can't remember. I have never sorted this slowly ever in the history of ever. You're gonna get written up. <laughs> okay, we've got a funky card. Oh, it's Jared Cozart, Red Ice. Speaking of Astros, uh, are we numbering these? Yes, this one's numbered to 25. That is a good Astros card to have. Nice looking card. She likes Cozart. Now, don't be cheating on Chate Usley. Chate Usley? Chate Usley? Chate Usley. Chate Usley. <laughs> I'm tired. Chase Utley. <laughs> Husley. <laughs> nice. I better drink some more Diet Mountain Dew. I need to wake up here. Chate Hustley. Wow. wow. That is all we need to say about that. Right. When it was um, National Shrimp Scampi Day, they couldn't say it on the radio. They kept calling it Skim Shampy. Skim Shampy. <laughs> awesome. Awesome like a hot dog. If I were a hot dog, I'd eat myself. Oh. Yeah. Hi, no. Wow. You say that a lot. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I do. You stun me. <laughs> Jonathan Crawford, mini, and that guy again, whose name is Oscar Tavares. So another insert dupe. The Mets sure have a lot of cards. Cool. Too low. Cheetah again. There's Cole. There's Cole who is thick. Cole thick today. <laughs> Four more packs left in the third box. I think we need one more auto yet. So we've got uh, that blue Yankees. We've got uh, Debs Michael Franco with one more to go. And I bet it's going to be a paper autograph. Now what I mean by paper autograph, Aim, is that I'll, uh, most of these are all going to be the chrome kind of like uh, slick finished ones. Mm -hmm. These uh, Under Armour High School autographs, Yeah. no finish on them. Just a regular old... All right, so Reimer Liriano. Don't think he's related to Francisco. Bone Chrome Mini. And Cole Hamels. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Deb, aren't you happy you joined this morning? <laughs> hey, it's not my fault that she's the only one in the chat room, so... Wow, I can't believe all those stacks of cards sitting here. Aim, you're losing your touch. You're losing your touch. She says she likes the personal attention. <laughs> I'm probably going to hear later that no one else was able to get in. Really? Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, well, this is good for the Rangers, but I was just talking about this. A dupe auto, Chris Bostic for the Rangers. So, Ray, I think, is that his second or third now hit? 
So the Yankees and Rangers are definitely on the board. Chris Bostic with another auto. This one isn't even a refractor, so straight up dupe hit. And that was the third hit of the uh, of the box there, so we're done with uh, done with hits for that one. We've got two packs left, so hopefully we'll get some good inserts out of that anyway. Penultimate pack. Mm -hmm. So after this box is done, I'll kind of talk about what's going on with the next case break. It's it's pretty pretty darn big. I'll just put put it that way. Yeah. Jose Abreu, another. I think I think I've pulled this one, so this is going to be a dupe insert of Jose Abreu. Still a good insert to have. If this was a loose pack that you bought anyway, that's a nice insert to have. I uh, bought seven loose packs of Bowman at uh, Target and got a Yankees autograph out of the first pack that I opened. And I've never pulled an autograph out of a loose retail pack before, so that was I had a little <laughs> moment, <laughs> even though it was Yankees. And he did tell me he made that noise even though no one was here. I squeed, you squeed. on my own all by myself. All right, so I've got another insert card for myself. Let's just let's said. let's see what I've got. Get MLB Preplay to win awesome Bowman prizes. Download on the App Store. I will. It's a free app. Yay for me. Yay school. Ooh. Yes, we do have a couple of nice inserts here. We've got the Kyle Zimmer top 100, followed by a Bowman, a Bowman Chrome, looks like the Shattered Ice, uh, Blue Ice, I think this is what they're called, Mini, number 2, 250. And uh, he shares the same last name as uh, one of our other participants. And she knows who her last name is when she sees it. Wow. That's awkward. Yeah. You just said that. She knows who she is. Yeah. She knows her last name. <laughs> She knows all about it. She who can happy name. Yes. So that'll do it for this box. I, was this the box that had the Blue Wave hot pack? I think. So not a bad box. I'd, I'd be, I'd be pretty much happy with what we got out of this one. So all right. So as I'm opening up the fourth box. Talk a little bit about the next case break. It's going to be my third Allen and Ginter charity case break, and each year I make it a little bit bigger than the last. You know, and I'm going to be awfully surprised if next year if I can top this year's because I am going to be breaking one case, and Steve at the case breakers will be breaking a second case, and. I haven't quite determined if it's going to be a simultaneous, like, you know, side-by-side -side break, but at least uh, we are both donating $5 per slot um, to Big, Brother, uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters. And like, la like last year, um, I will be putting together a nice prize pack, um, $5 per entry, um, and each entry will be for uh, the prize pack. And right now I can tell you, that I got something really big coming uh, from Ultra Pro. I've got some uh, something uh, pretty awesome coming from Unikeep, uh, and uh, I've got some other things coming as well. Um, if you're a local winner, I'll drive to your house and make you dinner. <laughs> hey. Uh -huh. No. Okay. So um, this is actually going to be pretty darn huge, and Steve, uh, he's getting a prize pack of his own lined up. Same. Same situation there, $5 per entry uh, to win his prize pack. So there's going to be two prize packs, one from me, one from him. Two cases, in case you just can't get enough from me, uh, we'll, we'll be set up pretty much the same uh, price per slot. And uh, it's going to be a good time. And I'm hoping to raise $1,000. That's my goal. So if we sell out both cases, that's 300 bucks. 
which means that uh, Steve and I need to raise another seven hundred dollars from the case. Uh, I'm sorry, from the uh, prize packs from the two individual prize packs. So, um, considering the stuff that I'm still looking for, I think we could probably do it. We could probably do it. So, hopefully, we'll get a, a ton of people like we did last year to get on board because this is this is going to be a, a good thing and it's going to be pretty huge. So. All right, first pack of box number four. We've got an orange Nelson Rodriguez, Rodriguez, also number to 250. And Chris Owings, Bowman Chrome Mini. And those are our inserts for the pack. Now, right now, I am, as always, pre-selling slots for $20 to, to kind of hold your slots. So um, I don't think Steve has his up yet. Um, probably won't have final pricing on the slots until maybe a week or two before the case goes live. But that's pretty typical for me anyway. So got another one of these MLB, uh, MLB pre-play inserts for myself. I'm so happy. All these cards I'm getting. Top 100 prospect insert of Henry Owens, followed by a blue shattered ice Oscar Tavares Bowman Chrome Mini. Good morning to those who are just joining. I see a few more people have kind of trickled in here now that it's getting close to 11 o'clock. Wow. Don't you hate that when you put too many m ms in your mouth? Yeah. No. I think you like it when I do that, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a No. No one ever taught me to chew the or talk with my mouth closed. What kind of your double knot in your shoes, but Orange parallel with Chris Medlin. <laughs> Gary Sanchez Bum Chrome Minis. And I said that wrong by the way. So uh, no one ever taught me to Chew with my mouth closed, not talk with my mouth closed. Talking with my mouth closed would be just weird. Mm. Not that you never do that. Silent treatment. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I was eating a pretzel. And chewing with your mouth closed. Mm -hmm. He's taking a break. My neck rub. I'm good. Do you need a neck rub? Yes. Yeah. Alright, we're going to pause for 15 minutes so she can have a little <laughs> neck rub. We've got a blue parallel of Andrew Lambeau, Pirates. Top 100 par uh, prospect of Carlos Mar uh, Martinez. So uh, as I was getting prepared for the break this morning, what I normally do is I make little post-it notes. And my post-it notes each have the team and the slot owner of that team. And between the two Debs that are in this break, I don't think I've written the name Deb so many times in one sitting in my entire life. You two women are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for swiping as many slots as you did. And that's a hell of a donation to St. Baldrick's for me too. So. And from everyone else, was able to sell it out, and we'll be doing the entire $150 donation to St. Baldrick's. There's Reimer Liriano, Bowman Chrome Mini Refractor again, and an ice of Ben Lively. Ben Lively. <laughs> She's just staring at me like you're an idiot. <laughs> So 
So remember, you're going to be staring at me like that for at least another 50 years, so... <laughs> Kudos to the other dev. So Steve was asking me how long we were married yesterday, and they, I forgot for a second. Oh, I'm like, man, really? how long has it been? <laughs> This year will be nine. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. This year will be nine. Well, what made me remember is that we were just talking about, hey, we can actually plan something for our time. Um, you're on camera. Let me, uh, here we go. There. Well, it's rude to eat on camera. <laughs> All right, Bowman Crow Mini of Jonathan Crawford with a 1989 of uh, Travis Darnode. I don't think I'm saying his name right, but that's okay. Chill now. Did you know, Aim, that Joe Mauer hit his second home run of the year yesterday? Wow. Yeah. I don't think he's... I think if he does make the All-Star team, it's only going to be because they're at target field. I don't think he deserves this year because he plays first base. And think of how many other people that are way better than him that are playing at first base. I think Brian Dozier deserves to be on the All-Star team. That'd be awesome. Man, he's been making some clutch offensive and defensive plays this year. You should have got his shirt. I think once they decide that they're going to give him a long-term contract, that's when you get a shirt because then you won't have to be afraid. Yes, tell them why I have not. Oh, she's sure. you've told we've told this story. Oh. Every time she buys a Twins jersey, um, they end up getting traded the next year. Uh huh. You've got who now? You've got Punto, Delman, and Ben Revere. Revere. Mm -hmm. All of them. And where are they now? Bye bye. Mark Williamson, Bone Crumb Mini, and Billy Hamilton, 1989. Me, on the other hand, my guys tend to stick around for at least a little while. My first one was uh, Morneau, and then after we got that Morneau, he signed a, a longer, not a long-term deal, but, you know, a decent-sized deal, and then mm -hmm. ended up leaving. And I've got Maurer. I have Perkins now, who just signed his deal. Um, let's see. Ben Revere says hi. I'm thankful he's in silly Philly. Mm, I love him. Well, it's too bad about uh, Vanimal, though. He did not pan out at all. Mm -mm. Poor animal. That's kind of the twins look, though. As soon as they sign some guy, they just, like, mm -hmm. implode. Yeah. yeah, he is a good guy. Vanimal mm -hmm. and I are Twitter friends, she says. Very cool. Jose Parraza, Bum Carmini, Matt McPherson Ice... I don't think I've pulled any autos out of this box yet. I got four packs to go. I think Fidgie's sleeping. Finally. <laughs> oh no, she's moved. You said my name. Look for special 1989 Bowman is back diamond refractors. Okay, that's what they're called, diamond refractors. Okay. Only took me halfway through the whole case to figure that out. <laughs> All right, so we've got our first autograph out of this uh, box. It's for the uh, the Rockies. Roselle Herrera, who apparently is number seven, according to his autograph. And this is a chrome numbered to 500. And to prove that... Number to 500. Okay, that's enough. How you doing over there, honey? Good. You're, oh, there's doing a regular well. power. Doing well. Mm -hmm. How's your neck? Fine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ready to get, to get back to sorting? No. No. Not yet. It's too early in the morning for this, huh? Yeah. You'd rather be doing this at 9 o'clock at night. No. <laughs> Pa. This is so weird seeing all these. You, you just you were just so efficient last time. It was like bam, 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 bam. Was Gypsy Queen just a better product? 
it was easy, much easier to sort because the full spelled out team name was on the front of the card and all the cards were facing the correct direction. Oh, I see. We have our second autograph. This one also goes to New York, but this time the Mets. This is a Cesar Puello or Puello or Puello, depending on where you're from, I guess. Not a chrome, so it's not numbered. This uh, card here is bent to hell, so sorry about the A's owner. Uh, Drew Garner's card is bent to hell in the corner there. Don't know how that happened, but uh, that's how it was pulled out of the pack, so I apologize about that. Okay. Everything else looks just fine, though. Yeah, for some reason, that one card was just kind of bent on the corner. The auto card that was sitting in front of it is just fine, though, so at least that's... I hate to see that when that's pulled out of a pack. Like, Well, you hate to see that at all, but especially when it's brand new, fresh, coming out of the pack. So it just kind of makes you wonder what happened you know, on, in production or in pack out. Penultimate pack coming up. <coughs> bless you. It was a pop, but thank you. I bless you for everything. Okay. Okay. Will the third and final auto be in this pack? Uh, I don't know. We're going to start with Phil Irvin, top 100, and no auto there. Brandon Compton is a uh, refractor. One pack left. We're looking for one more auto, so hopefully the auto is in this last pack. We're going to start with a yellow parallel of Patrick Corbin, which means the autograph. Another Michael Franco, so another uh, dupe auto. There you go, Deb. So you get two of this guy, Deb. And uh, this one is not a refractor either. But there you are, all the same. This uh, yellow is numbered to 99, by the way. And that means we are halfway done with our case break, and that only took a little more than an hour. So there is a slight chance that we'll get done with this before Deb has to leave. All right, a little more Diet Mountain Dew. I'm going to do a real quick refill here. Why don't you all get up and use the restroom real quick? And you over there, why don't you just uh, stay in your phone? Okay. Okay. Don't don't uh, don't feel the need to sort any of this. This is fine. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, hey. Can I get you anything, dear? Nope. Bottle of water, piece of meatloaf, banana. You still like to eat that meatloaf? I haven't been home. Where did we go the night before? Yeah, all the same. I'm not going to have a red lobster meal come home and have meatloaf. What did we do last night? We didn't eat. We fell asleep. Okay. I still have to eat that cauliflower, too. Kind of good for me. Amy looks thrilled. Well, she, she's she's a thriller. Okay, you're <laughs> just making these funny faces on camera. <laughs> no, I'm biting my cheeks. I'm on camera? Yeah, you knew that. I was? You knew that. I, I said, you're on camera eating your pretzels, and you're oh. like, I don't care. Oh, I thought you moved it then. Sorry, I can't remember what I've been doing the last couple of minutes. <laughs> I chew the inside of my lips, so. Mm -hmm. She does that when she's annoyed with me. <laughs> okay, I now now you're off camera. I chew my lips. You're off camera. You're fine. For real? Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. No, you are off camera. All right, so we're halfway done. My sorter has walked out. Um... So I have a new position I need to go have filled here. So I'm hiring a new sorter. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't pay though. I will support 
Corpus wants to do. Hey. What? People really appreciate your soldering abilities. You only screwed up four times last time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are a jerk. Uh. First pack of box number five. Did you uh, see or hear Pomplamoose's newest uh, cover? Wake, uh, wake me up before you go, though. No, I don't think so. No. Okay, so we've got a first pack, first autograph. This is Brewers, Tucker Newhouse. Not a refractor. And I'll have to look on my board, but I want to say that Kent probably had the Brewers. His uh, handle is Brewman70, I believe. That is correct. I was right. What about, without even looking, I was right. What? Can't I be impressed with myself? <laughs> you always are. <laughs> I still have to put together... Uh, a twins game for the, the local people. If you want to go with name. What? Still looking into putting in it uh, together a twins game for some of the local peeps. That would if be you fun. Want, if you want to go with Gio Gonzalez. And if Deb would swing her road trip over to. Hey, she had to go Target see Nickelback Field. or whoever oh, that's it was. Right. Deb and Nickelback. Mm hmm. I'm going to try to get her to swear again. <laughs> <laughs> she won't do it in public. Oh, come on, Dad. She'll text you a swear, but... Oh. Uh, Oscar Tavares, top 100. Now she says, you're close. Yeah, well, we, we know it wasn't Nickelback. Or, or are we close to getting you to swear? Mm -hmm. Now everyone who watches this video is going to think I'm some Nickelback groupie. Not just some Nickelback groupie, the biggest Nickelback. Yeah, you're Penny Lane. You're Penny Lane to Nickelback. Yay. No, she only likes Nickelback because she really likes Avril Lavigne. Oh, is this true? Who is married to that lead singer guy of Nickelback. To Mr. Back? Mr. Back. Mr. Back. Yes. Yeah. So she's now Avril back. Avril back? Yeah. This is warped into some weird weird owl kind of conversation. Oh. Matt Kane Black parallel, which means there's an autograph. Okay. That is numbered to 25. Sweet. Now I know my Giants uh, slot holder is not my normal Giants slot holder. Uh, was this one of the ones that Deb picked up? Let me check it out here. Giants. Yep, Doug picked up Giants this time. Yep. She's uh, she's really into skater boys. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> CJ Cron, uh, Bowman Crumb Mini. Chris Bostic again. What else did Levine do? I have no idea. I funny. I waited on a guy who looked, <laughs> and I blame you for this, by the way. Uh, who looked a lot like Macklemore. Yeah. And I told the new host, who's got to be like 19, I'm like, I I, I I feel like I'm waiting on Macklemore. And she laughed her ass off. I'm like, Yay. oh, my God. I just, I related to a 19-year-old. What is wrong? What has happened to me? Macklemore's a good guy. Shush. That's fine. But old guys like me aren't supposed to know who he is. Like Pamplemousse. Pamplemousse is not 19. Pablo Moose covers uh, songs from the 70s and 80s, and sometimes not. <laughs> Fantastic. This is a nice insert for me. Cole Stewart. Oh, two back-to-back -back inserts for me? I am psyched about this. Cole Stewart, Bowman Chrome Mini, and Byron Buxton, 1989, Diamond Refractor. Yay. Which means I'm not going to get a Twins autograph, but I don't care because these are awesome inserts for me. Yay me for once. Yay. <laughs> I normally don't get anything, so this is this 
This is a good day for me. <laughs> it's also been a good day for Yankees. Let's and Rangers. Let's and Deb, because hello, Deb. Wait, wait, which Deb though? Deb's had a lot of Deb's. Had Deb's had two of the same Phillies autograph. That's that's pretty big. Yeah, that's, that's huge. That's that's huge. Yeah, that's huge, Deb. Yeah, Deb. When are you gonna do your own case break? You want I'd be a, like this guy. Uh, you want a case of bench warmers? The guy in the red uh, shirt has uh, got one of those. And uh, we have a guy in a black shirt. Really? You should do a case of bench I can't do anything. Do a like case that. of bench warmers. I don't know what that even means. It's uh, bench warmers, they're cards of models. What? Yeah. What do you mean? Like swimsuit models. For real? Yeah. Why would I do that? Because it'd be really awesome. <laughs> I'd rather do magic cards. A magic card I'm case break? I don't even know what that really means, but I like Harry Potter, so. Ah, uh, wow. Is that, is that Ma like Harry Magic Potter? the Gathering, MGT? Is or MTG? Like Harry Sorry. Potter, I'm, so? You can tell I'm not a magic guy because I said it wrong. MTG. Oh, a Harry Potter card break? Yeah. Who well, De that? Deb's on board. Well, Deb, you're, because she's nice. I think it would be me and Deb. Are you two are like nerd twins? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Julio Urias, uh, Bowman Crumb Mini, and Francisco Lindor, 1989, Diamond Refractor. So I had that Brewer's Auto out of the first pack. I haven't seen one since, but I didn't get any autos out of the last box until the final four packs. So, upside down Cuddy again. Mike Trout, upside down. So I want like would they have like wand cards then? Right, like instead right. of bat cards, bat barrels would be like wand sticks, you know. But would it be the authentic from the set wand or would it just be like from the fake Gringotts from or whatever whatever. No wait, what's the name of the, the wand shop? Gringotts is the bank or something, isn't it? Yeah, wow, you're really good. Ollivanders. Ollivanders, right. Oh hi. Whoa! Okay, this could could be considered a hit, even though it's not autographed. Uh Kirk, you win again. You got a Masahiro Tanaka green parallel. That's a sweet card to have. This one is numbered to 150, my friend. Okay. Well, I'll stay down. You stay. Nope. You just stay right there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Why, why did you invite her? <laughs> she was jumping on no, the no, 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 no. No, she'll be there. She'll stay. Stay. <laughs> She's not a dog. <laughs> really? Michael Enor, Bowman Crumb Mini. Good girl. So yeah, there's the Tanaka Green parallel. Please, oh please, please no. Bridget, get down. Get down, Mike. Sorry. Bye, bitch. Oh. There we go. So again, Masa Hero. Tanaka, who, by the way, is refusing to do autographs. Why? It's just, he did, I guess, hi, Fidge. I guess that's just, uh, you know, his right. I guess he just doesn't want to do autographs. So Tops was unable to secure a contract with him to do autographs. I don't even think he does autographs like uh, at games or anything like that. He's just a guy that doesn't like doing it. Okay, there's a cat right here. Hi, cat. Hi, Fidget. Hey, you are, Fidge. Are you going to make some custom baseball cards? Those are illegal. All right. Thanks for helping, Fiji. Okay. First one is Lance McCullers, top 100. I believe we might have, possibly have, an autograph. And we don't. It's still a green refractor of Billy Burns. Fiji, does that make you upset that I didn't? Have an autograph there when I said I might have. Fiji. Hi. Hi. Are you pretty? <laughs> Another insert card for me. Hello. Look at this. Hi. Hello. Okay. Oh. Someone's really craving attention here, and so is the cat. Ah, ah hey, hey, oh, hey, that's oh, good. That's a good one. Uh. You're making it hard for me to keep these on camera, Fidge. Sorry. 
Steiner, we'll get to him. Oh, yeah. Steiner is an autograph and memorabilia company. Uh, I suppose if they offer him enough money, it, you know, something ridiculous that he can't refuse. You are right, Jeb. Maybe Fidgy will get to him. I feel huge. Dang my butt. I am Hi. Weird. Oh, hello. We've got a rookie card autograph, and it is Jonathan Shoop for the Orioles. Jonathan Shoop. Looks like a refractor to me. Here. And it is number to 500. I think you can stay right there, okay? Oh. Oops, <laughs> sorry. On camera and everything. Here. Push. <laughs> there goes the cat. No, no, you don't. She wants those cards. My gosh. Stay right there. Well, then we're going to have to get those sorted and packed today. So that's our second autograph of the box. Jonathan Shoop. It's a name I actually recognize. Mm -hmm. A lot of these prospects, I'm like, who, 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 what, when, where, how? I think, uh, what is it, uh, ASPCA is going to see this video. Oh! And we're done. Bye! Here you go. Okay. And they're going to be all like, animal cruelty. Oh, there she is again. Gosh. Why is she getting in these moods like this? Where I don't know. She's, she's not like this. Right? She's craving attention. She just wants us to pay attention to her. Francisco Lindor, number 12 of the top 100. And that's going to be really the only insert out of this pack. So I'm guessing it must be a really good insert. You okay? What's going on? I just got a pain. From your pretzels? From my pretzels. Your pretzels are making you thirsty. Oh, or crampy. Okay. There's a Jose Abreu regular card. Pulling lots of Abreus. And that's what I've heard. I've heard everyone and their uncle. I use that one already. Everyone in their restaurant server <laughs> has been pulling a Jose Abreu. Everyone in their bartender has been pulling a Jose Abreu. Everyone in their cab driver. You don't use all of them. Everyone in their dentist. Oh. Has been pulling. Ah, pulling. Get it? Oh, Get it? A oh, Jose Abreu. No, there we go. Good. Everyone in their dentist. Oh. Ah, there we go. There's a third auto of the box. This one is for Boston. Wendell Rio. Or Rio. This one is a regular, non refractor, chrome. First Bowman prospect. So if he ends up being. Uh, Awesome and amazing. This will be an awesome and amazing autograph card to have in your collection. Now, Red Sox is not the same person that normally has Red Sox, I don't think. Um, Kim K. Kim. Oh, there we go. Congrats, Kim. So that's our third and final auto of this box. We've got two packs left in this box. I keep stopping on the Twins cards thinking, oh, it's another, it's a new one that I haven't seen it. No, it's just Joe Maurer. <laughs> Everyone in their garbage man has pulled a Joe Maurer. I think someone's mowing. Yeah, it's next to next door. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but no, I just saw a, a guy walk by. Oh, her, her lawn man? Yeah. I wish I were rich enough to hire someone to take care of the yard. Yeah, personal gardener. Everyone in their gardener gets pulled. Stop it. <laughs> oh. George Springer, Bowman Chrome Mini, starts off the penultimate pack. And then we've got a Brandon Crumpton Ice Refractor. Oh my God. Kenny Giles. Yeah. You need to take a break over there? No. Are you sure? You sound like you're going to cry. Every time I look out, the piles are bigger. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll help. No, you won't. I, I will. No, you won't. I will. You can't say you will. Oh, jeez. Make me sound like a bigger jerk than I actually am. No, you're, you're just a normal jerk. Final I'm pack sorry. of this box. Well, we've dropped a ton of viewers now. I think <laughs> people saw the cat 
Jumping on the cards are like, screw this guy. <laughs> no Potter, though. Her paws just landed in the vicinity. Okay, final pack. Miguel Sano Bowman Chrome Mini. This is a Twins hot box, let me tell you. Well, being in the food industry, you should know what a hot box is, hon. I do know what a hot box is, Chris. And it's What's not like that? a hot lunch, okay? Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Bowman, ironic, that he's on a Bowman ice card. Haha. <laughs> no one has ever made that joke before. <laughs> Well, that will round out. There's Garrett Cole. Yay. Uh, that'll round out the box here, uh, box number five. We're getting there. We're getting there. Is that? Oh, it's Lambo again. Thought I saw more metal. But he should be in his Rockies <sighs> uniform. All right. Woo! So to catch everyone up to speed here, uh, charity is being donated to St. Baldrick's, which is a foundation that does a lot of children's cancer research. 150 bucks will be going there. The next case break will be the big annual Allen & Ginter charity case break. Uh, funds will be donated to Big Brothers Big Sisters, but this is going to be a double case break. I'll be doing one of the cases, and Steve from the Case Breakers will be doing the second one, and we are both putting together some prize packs. Uh, I couldn't tell you what Steve's got planned for a uh, prize pack, but I can tell you that I know for sure I've got something big coming from um, Ultra Pro, and I've got something big coming from Unikeep as well, and I have some other uh, things coming in that I'm not going to mention just yet, but they'll be here. Um, and we're hoping to raise $1,000 for the next one. Uh, hope we can get there. Box number six. 12 packs in a box, 30 cur uh, 32 cards per pack, three autographs per box. Even though the box says three chrome autographs, they haven't been all chrome. However, only one of them hasn't been chrome. It's been a uh, Hunter Harvey paper was the only non-chrome autograph I've pulled so far. Very nice looking uh, set, and I've just pulled my first die cut. Nick Castellanos top 100 die cut, so that's a nice insert to have. And an Edwin Escobar bone chrome mini. So yeah, as I was saying, this uh, personally speaking, and I'm, I'm a design snob, so I, I get to share my opinion whether anyone else agrees with it or not, <laughs> as I always do anyway, I say. <laughs> as I always do. Um, I, I really like this design for Bowman anyway. This is a good Bowman design. And I think it's uh, I think it's a little bit better than Top's flagship design this year. Anyway. Uh, I want to go for a run. You want to go for a run? Maybe. All right, we've got our first auto of the box, and it is Phillies again. Hi, Deb. Yeah. It's Adam Morgan. This one is a non-refractor. Phillies, Yankees, and Rangers are pretty much killing it today with the autographs. So I'm going to have to get my $5 bills out for all those that aren't getting these hits today. Did have a Blue Wave Hot Pack in there, which by Hot Pack, they really mean five Blue Wave refractor cards in the same pack, <laughs> not the entire pack, which that would be really awesome. And until today, I'd never actually seen a Blue Wave card, so that was really nice. So those are really cool cards. Chris Taylor starts it off with a Bowman Chrome Mini with a 1989 Diamond Refractor of Paul Muller in his Brewer's uniform. Uh, 
The uh, rumor that has been going around, and when I say rumor, I mean it's a, it's a huge rumor and probably not actually going to happen, but the rumor is that uh, Twins organization is grooming Molitor to be Garden Hire's replacement, that they want to get rid of, uh, you know, when Garden Hire leaves, they want to get rid of Rick Anderson and the rest of that coaching staff and let uh, Paul Molitor take over the team. And that would be interesting considering who's coming up in the next few years. The guys that Molitor would be in charge of would be guys like Byron Buxton, cool. Miguel Sano, Eddie Rosario, Cole Stewart, Alex Meyer, Johan Pino. All the kind of guys that I think have the potential to bring the Twins back to the top of the AL Central. AL Central, unfortunately, right now being the weakest division in all of baseball, but still. Uh, DJ Peterson, top 100 insert, with a Kyle Parker blue refractor, number to 250. A lot of card dust I'm seeing in here from, from trimming. Cocaine. Yeah, I don't think or hope that that's what's happening <laughs> by those big cutting machines. <laughs> I've, I've worked on those cutting machines when I was uh, in school. Those are, I mean, they are, like, blocked off. Mm -hmm. All sorts of safeguards, and still, I, you know, guys would come around to, to, to show you how dangerous they are. They'd show you their stubs. Like, I wasn't paying attention, and I've got a half a hand left. Like, well, then this job isn't for you. Jason Hirsch, Braves, Bowman Chrome Mini with a 1989 diamond refractor of George Brett. Or Brett George, as I used to call him when I was a kid. I, for some reason, got his name backwards. I don't know why. I think it's because I was a kid that enjoyed wrestling and was a fan of Brett Hart. And for some reason, just would say Brett first. As my wife is secretly saying, oh, who are you kidding? You still are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Last time I watched any wrestling was after Ultimate Warrior died, and I just wanted to see what they did for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I broke that news to you. You did. Because you are all about TMZ. Yep. That is where all the correct information comes from. And TMI. No. George Springer, Houston Astros Top 100, number 19, and a shattered blue ice of Jake Johansson Bowman Crumb Mini. And if I remember correctly, we've got just the, I think it's just the one autograph? Maybe maybe we're up to two now. Eric Homsar. If anyone gets that reference, there's my insert. <laughs> I know my wife gets the reference. Ah! Uh, uh. I was raised by a cup of coffee. Oh. That was her I'm so in love with him sigh. <laughs> oh. That was like a few weeks ago. WWE hey, I, I can't help when people die. <laughs> but pointing out that yes, it wasn't like in the distant past. No, That's I, the last time I watched. It was two weeks ago. Sure. Sure. Which means it wasn't this week. And it's not tomorrow. This is how Chris never admits that oh my else Lord. might be writer, writer, more correct than him. That don't, is that a, Okay. Sorry. We Wait have, for it. Wait for it. Wait we, for it. We've got another hit. And it's a dupe again. But it's not as much of a dupe. Because it's... Because it's a, it's, it's a parallel dupe of an autograph of Michael Franco. Black parallel dupe autograph of Michael Franco. Third time I pulled this guy. Fourth auto for uh, Deb. That's just because you're in the chat room. You realize this. This is number to 99. There you go, Deb. So congrats to you, Deb. But as a case breaker, and, and nothing nothing against you, Deb, and I'm, I'm very happy for you, but... It, <laughs> irritates me that there's 
not much parity as far as the the hits go. There's too much parity within team. Is that what you're saying? Or they well, it should be spread out more across other teams. It should be more evenly distributed. Oh, okay. Like that's like the fourth Phillies hit I've got in this case. Three Yankees hits. Three uh, Rangers hits. Mm -hmm. That means most everyone else isn't gonna get There's anything. There's too much duplicity. Yes. And it's not even. Is that what you're saying? Right. Got it. She says that's a big you know, no, I'm not saying it's not a big hit. And I'm I'm glad, you know, especially one of my regulars got a big hit, and I'm very happy for you, Deb, but I just wish people who are packing out would spread it out a little bit more so that when people are joining my case breaks or in other people's case breaks, they have more of a chance to get something nice. So um she says that this one uh, is going for about a hundred bucks. Shut up, really? Well, it's a black parallel, and it's there's only 99 of this particular. What does there. a parallel mean? So you'll see one that has a white border, one that has a blue border, one that's a. I mean, mm -hmm. those are all parallels of each other. It's the same card, just. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah. got it. All right, moving along. So congrats, Deb. She's got the mojo working today. She says, I have obvious mojo when, when present. This is true. I, I swear, every case break I've done that, she's been in the chat room. It's like, deb, 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 yep. deb, Yep, yep. Another Tanaka. This one's the base of the Tanaka. I think if we'd be having Nickelback playing in the background. Man. I think YouTube might explode if that happened. Might, from the magic. Yeah. <laughs> Jose Abreu base. All right, Adrian Beltre. Yeah, she's magic in all caps. Yeah. Magic the gathering. <laughs> wow. Deb, is Nickel Creek country? What kind of a band are they? She's going to say they're an awesome band. No, she will. Bluegrass. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, our admin at work, Vicky. She loves them. I know she's seen them multiple times because she goes to all those bluegrass festivals. Okay, that's where I heard them. Name a bluegrass band that I would know. You wouldn't. Leonard Skinner? Ha, ah, you're funny. <laughs> no, you wouldn't know any of Nickel Creek is one of the younger bluegrass groups. Yeah, I'm I not should. mistaken. Okay. Oh, sorry. We've got an orange paper parallel of uh, my boy, Tori Hunter. We love Tori. He and Cuddy. We love Tori and Cuddy. Uh, number 250. Uh, Tim Anderson, Bowman Chrome Mini. Boom, boom, boom. So, we've got a lot going on this summer, more than we normally do. And it's one of those things where we kind of feel like, let's do it now, because I don't think we're going to have time to do it uh, later in life. <laughs> we're going to see Paul for the second time, Paul McCartney. Mm -hmm. um, kind of by luck, because yep. I wasn't able to get the tickets. And thank goodness you had availability to yeah. get tickets. We're going to see Failure this month who just reunited. We're going to see Baruch Assault later this year, who just reunited. We're going to see Pomplamoose for the first time. We're going to see Eddie Izzard for the, what, third time? Or Izzard? Maybe four. See, give him a whirl, just saying I enjoy Baruch I think it's the third. Okay. Deb, have you heard the new Baruch Assault song? It's actually not bad. It's okay, yeah. Well, for a non Baruch fan, yeah, it's not bad. Michael Oldman, Bowman Crumb Mini, and a Wilmer Becerra, Bowman Crumb Ice. It's not that I don't, I, I definitely, it's, you know, I like them. Well, it's, it's not like you're... I'm, I'm sort of indifferent, I guess. It's not uh, your style of music. What is my style of music? You're like, you're into like bands like San Fermin. Oh, yeah. You were surprised that I pulled that one out. I am actually very surprised. <laughs> Deb, do you like San Fermin? Deb, do you have you even heard of San Fermin? Anyone watching this video later, sorry that we're like all about Deb here, but she's the only one in the chat room. <laughs> I, I can't type the while Deb I'm doing this. Show. It's the Deb show, yeah. Maybe next time Deb could just be here. Yeah, you go, Deb. <laughs> she has not heard of San Fermin. Does she like Regina Spector? I love Virginia. All right, we have our third hit of the box, and it goes to... Deb. The Rangers. Ooh, the Rangers. Rangers, Yankees. Raymond yep, H. yep, Rangers, Yankees, and Phillies are owning this case break. Yohander Mendez, regular chrome, auto. 
And she says, yes, we need to exchange playlists. <gasps> Yay! Her new, her new album is just the best. What we saw from the cheap seats. It's not really new, but newest. So good. You know, you should just, you guys should just exchange phone numbers and just call each other right now. We'll get you a speaker phone. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. Just, just I've pipe. got two boxes left to go. This would make for an interesting. Pipe Devin. Deb, tweet, uh, tweet Amy your direct message your phone number. That's... <laughs> Seriously. You want me to call her? Yeah. Unless you're shy, you don't. Why'd have you on speakerphone, Deb? If you're shy, that's too shy to have your voice on my video. It's going viral. We're pretty. It's going viral. viral. We're pretty big. Because we're making fun of John we're, Popper. Yeah, John Popper. He's yes. gonna subtweet us. And... Yes. All right, we've got a uh, number twenty-five of one hundred. Eddie Butler. Pretty light on the inserts in this box. Yeah, let me stick in here. Now, Deb, Deb, let me know if you actually did a uh, direct message aim your phone number so I can tell her to look at her phone. <laughs> she's, she's, like, she's I'm not going to do that, Chris. She's sweating. She's so far behind on her sorting. So, <laughs> so I'd like another distraction, please, and I can blame you. Well, because, I mean, I think a lot of my people that join my breaks know that I like to get these delivered the next day. I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. So this is the last pack of box number six of eight. And we start with a Tyler Glasnow Bowman Chrome Mini with a Manuel Margo or Margot Bowman Chrome Ice first Bowman card. Well, so far, those that are getting hits are getting quite a few hits, and that seems to be the theme for 2014 with Tops. Um, not really spreading it around, but, I mean, I guess maybe they can't control that. I really don't know. So um, maybe someone from Tops would like to uh, speak on that. She says, sent, but unfortunately I have to get ready for Silly Phillies today. Oh, well, you got, you got her phone number. I do, so next Even though time. she doesn't need to leave for another... Oh, she does need to leave soon, so never mind. All right, well, Deb, enjoy your game. Next case break, though. We're getting you on the phone here. That's hilarious. Figure so get, out a way to mic it in. Get, get ready for uh, the Allen and Gincher break, Deb. Ooh, so. Special guest. Special Deb. Deb. Deb Utley. The, Deb Utley from... No, no. Oh. What, was, what was her last name? We decided... Uh, Deb Back. Nickelback. Oh, Deb Back. Back. Deb yes. Back. Deb Back. Yes. She said, we can absolutely do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, have fun, Deb. Enjoy the game. And just think about that $100 you're about to make on eBay. There you go. Adios to you. Bye. All right. Pack number one in the penultimate box. And someone's doing yard work as we're doing this. Outside, <laughs> bright sunny day. Right, and we're inside. Uh, your Dono Ventura Bone Crumb Mini. I have to count my hits here, just to make sure. I don't think we've been shorted anything. I feel like the it's been three per box so far. I haven't heard of anyone getting shorted. Do you want to keep shorted. this one separate? No. no. I mean, I will probably put that in a. Yeah. Sleeve and top loader at some point, but I have to go pick up some supplies. Pack number two. If anyone else is in the chat room here, please feel free to, to talk at us. We'll talk right back. Yeah, <laughs> for real. We'll just talk amongst ourselves if that's what you prefer. All right, we've got our first auto of this box, and oh, it's from a different team. <gasps> yeah. David Holmberg from the Reds. Nice on card auto. Deb P. Well, fantastic. Deb P. There you go. This one is a refractor, and it's numbered to 500. There you go, Deb P. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
nice to see another team get a hit. This just means my twins aren't going to give me anything. <gasps> Sad cry. <laughs> Did pull a nice uh, black parallel. There's Mark Appel. I didn't know if I was going to pull anything from him. So Astros. And who did we say had the Astros this time? John Ash. John, that's right. Waxtopia. I'm going to have to make another stack. Sorry, they're getting a little high. Sorry. <laughs> don't worry. Uh -huh. We don't need to leave here till 3.30, right? It's not even noon yet. Okay, we've got an orange parallel of Hunter Renfro. So this is a paper parallel. And then Addison Russell, Bowman Chrome Mini. I haven't noticed if I came across any Russell Wilsons, though. I'm going to guess not. I think Russell Wilson is one of the short prints that are going to be really hard to pull. There's Chris Bryant, uh, base. And kind of not surprised that I haven't pulled a Jose Abreu autograph because Murphy's Law or something like that. Maybe it's not Murphy's Law, but everyone else has, so I won't. But see, this is exactly why I didn't want to charge 300 bucks for that slot, because if I didn't pull that autograph and I charged 300 bucks, well, I'm not going to feel very good about that, and neither should the person that... Uh, Bought that slot, so We've got a blue parallel paper parallel of Jorge de la Rosa, followed by a black. Okay, so it's a number 68 of 100 of Jesse Little, or of the top 100, I should say. Not a number parallel by any means. That is really loud outside. We should just do this outside. There's a Matt Mark Appel first Bowman Chrome. There you go. There you go, Swansea. So, Jason Worth, do you know what one of his um, nicknames is? Worthless. Huh. That's a good one, but that wasn't where I was going. Okay. I don't know. Rated R Superstar. Do you know why? Because he likes wrestling? Because he looks like oh. Edge. When the Edge. <laughs> the, the Edge. The guy from YouTube. No. Um, when Edge still had long hair and a beard, Jason Worth looked so much like Edge. Nice. Roselle Herrera, Bowman Chrome Mini with a 1989 diamond of, looks like Chris Bryant. I don't recognize the autograph, and it is. So that's probably the closest we're going to get in this box to a Chris Bryant autograph. So very good pull there. Uh, Hunter Dozier, who not related to Bryant, I found out. Sad times. Linscombe looks so strange, yet much better with that haircut. I just didn't think the long hair really suited him. He looked, sorry to say, smelly <laughs> with the long hair. I, I know it's rude of me to say, but that's kind of it. My wife is in love with Tim Lincecum, by the way. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Because he's tall and skinny and lanky. And... How can you find love? Sorting baseball cards for your husband? It's a mini splendor thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Lucas Giolotto, and I feel like I've got a decent card back here, but let's... Uh, oh, Roselle Herrera, Bowman Chrome Ice, and Cesar Puello, Black Parallel Refractor. So that is a decent card. And we're numbered to 99 on that one. Nice. What do you mean, oh lord? Because normally you call it and then it doesn't happen. So I was like thinking, yeah, don't say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just like I said, I'm not going to pull a twins autograph in this case. Yeah, okay. And I haven't yet, so. Alright. 
Okay, so that was uh, halfway through this box, so we've got six packs left in this box, and then one box left after that. So we're we're on pace to get done by 12:30, I would say. Bowman Chrome Mini of Victor Roche, Roach, and 1989 of Xander Bogertz. That's a good pull. Or is it Bogarts? I think it's Bogarts. Maybe I'm not even saying that correctly. But I don't see anyone correcting me, so we're just going to go with that. Oh, yeah. Joe Nathan. Come back, Joe. Okay. So you're you're going from the backs of the cards. Mm -hmm. I got to look at the backs of the cards to see. Oh, you're looking for the name of the team. Okay, I see. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got a uh, an autograph. This one is for the Tigers. Tigers is Deb P. Congrats, Deb P. Your Tigers auto is of Javier Betancourt. This is not a refractor. That is a nice Bowman, first Bowman Chrome card autograph of Javier Betancourt. So now we're seeing the teams kind of spread out a bit now that we're down to our last two boxes. <laughs> Well, I know that I've uh, been pulling quite a few Rangers and uh, Phillies hits. I feel like in the last couple of cases I did, I didn't pull very many, if any at all. There's a couple of Kenny Giles back-to-back. -back. Um, Phillies or Rangers hits. So it's at least it's nice to see that I'm pulling some of them. But again, in a perfect world, every team would get at least one thing. And that's where doing Gypsy Queen was nice because you know I ended up with 48 hits and... 48 hits between 30 teams. It's you know your chances are. Oh, we've got a we've got a hot pack. We've got a black wave refractor hot pack. So we've had a blue wave refractor hot pack, and now we've got a black wave. We're gonna start with Corey Seager's uh, top 100. He's number 57. The first black wave is Tucker Newhouse. Oh, and then there's a uh, ho ho. Deb, holy, you are scoring today. Holy crap, same guy. Michael Franco, again, this time it's the Black Wave Refractor. These are, this is number 50 of 50. Deb, you are just on fire in this break. Holy cow. And she left. Yes. So she's not seeing this. So this is going to be a surprise for her for later. Wow. This is a better pull than the last one. She was saying that that last one was 100 bucks. Jeez. Yeah. That one's going to go for quite a bit more. Nice. Then uh, Melvin Mercedes. Gabriel Inoa. And then there's a regular wave behind that one, which is weird. What would you call that? Huh. Um. Of Cesar Puello, and actually, this regular silver wave is this a silver wave? This is numbered to 25. The, the black waves aren't numbered at all, but this uh, regular wave is numbered 25 of 25. Cesar Puello, this is a really nice pack. I'm I can definitely guarantee if I if I bought this loose at a hobby shop, this would make my day. That was a really good pack. Fantastic. And again, congrats to Deb. Fantastic. All right. So I see a couple people just joined. You, you missed uh, probably the, the hit of the whole uh, case so far. Uh, Black Wave of Michael Franco. Numbered 50 of 50. So this has been the best pull so far. And I say so far because I still have three packs and one box left. And you just never know. You just never know. 
Of course, I've got my good luck charm back there. And I've got my Diet uh, Mountain Dew and Mint, chilled mint M&Ms helping me. Albert Elmora, top 143. And some dude making a lot of noise outside. I'm going to rewatch this video, and this is going to be hilarious. Because I think you can't really hear it that much for some reason. Well, it, it, it's not registering on my screen here, but, I mean, it's loud enough. I wouldn't be surprised. Really? Yeah. I haven't checked my Twitter yet. I wonder if it's uh, if anyone's saying anything about anything. Let me check that real quick. Nope. I just have people favoriting my pre-break brunch. <laughs> the photo of my French toast. <laughs> Penultimate pack of the penultimate box. Hmm. And we've got an autograph of Brandon Trunquan of the Dodgers. And I think this is our first Dodgers. And Deb P, I think? Yeah. Deb P. There you go. Not a bad autograph. Not many letters in his autograph, but it's kind of it's nice and artsy. Mookie Betts makes another appearance. A little, some more uh, card dust on these uh, in this pack. All right, so I think we've got our three autos in this box, which means. I've got three more chances to pull a Jose Abreu auto, a Chris Bryant auto, and a Twins auto for myself because I'm being selfish right now. <laughs> last pack of the second to last box. Got a Zach Lee Bowman Chrome Mini for the Dodgers. And a Tucker Newhouse, I've been saying his name quite a bit, uh, Bowman Chrome Ice. And Tucker Newhouse right behind that. So that's probably going to be a name I'll have to watch out for <laughs> if we ever go to any Brewers games is Tucker Newhouse. Tanaka I saw just go by again. All right. So that was a decent box, I gotta say. Too, da too bad uh, Deb went to that Phillies game. That's all right. Either she'll watch this or she'll she'll see her mail and be super surprised. All right, final box. This is actually going pretty. I think these are going faster every time I do them. Mm -hmm. Because I stopped announcing every card. <laughs> so lots of dupe autos in this case. Um, only one paper auto. A couple of hot packs. We've got a black wave refractor hot pack, a blue wave refractor hot pack. Haven't been shorted any autos that I'm aware of. Collation has not been the best, but that's been how the whole year's been going. All right. Very first card. Well, very first pack, I should say. Another Yankees, Leonardo Molina. And I wonder if I've already pulled his. This is a refractor auto. So Yankees on the board again. These uh, chrome cards are nice and thick, and uh, hopefully they don't curl like these chrome cards tend to do. Or at least they. They already. Some are, already are they already curling? Yep. And that comes from uh, layering it on one side and not on the other. To stop the cards from curling, you actually have to chrome both sides. And the reason I know this is I've I've have experience from experimenting with uh, homemade cards, and. Uh, 
if you've got one side layered with a bunch of gunk on it and not the other, it will curl. The heaviest side will curl down on the lighter side. But they don't want to spend, obviously, all that money chroming both sides of the card just to keep it from, you know, curling. So it's just something that collectors are just going to have to deal with. Blue Parallel of Hunter Renfro, Bowman Chrome Mini of Seth Mahias Breen, I think. I think I said his name earlier today. And probably incorrectly both times. How's your neck? You actually cracked your neck? I don't think I've ever heard you do that. That's my thing. Nope, it didn't crack. Weird. Pack number two. Boy, we are going to have to tag team on this. Did you get it? Or are you checking right now? What? Oh, yeah. Adding it to your content. Yes. Blue Parallel of James Paxton. And... Number 81 of uh, the top 100, this is Michael Choice of Rangers. So many upside down cards. I should have just, yeah, and I think I will. Almost all of them were upside down this time. There we go, just to make it a little bit easier on my my beautiful card sorter over there. <laughs> wow. Well, there are two of us. I won't abandon you. Okay. It's like it's only noon. And, you know, we're on the last box. Whoops. Won't take too long. Trevor Bauer, Bowman Chrome Mini. With Jason Worth, rated R superstar, Bowman Chrome Ice, right behind it. Pulled some really decent hits today. Let's see, I'm getting some text here. Uh, Monday, May 26th, Twins, Rangers, 110, we're going. Huh? Who's that from? Mark. Just texted me just now. You're going with him? I don't know. But I, I'm going to have to, after the break is done here, I'm going to have to see what the heck he's talking about. What day? May, uh, oh, now he says scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> it said Monday, May 26th. Now he's saying scratch that. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. We'll see. This is my boss talking to me. Okay, Jose Abreu, Bowman Chrome Mini. So I'm pulling all these Abreus, but none of them are autographs yet. And my, there we go, camera. Good camera. And then we've got a David Wright, 1989 Diamond Refractor. Well, I remember last year, Mark had whoops, a few of us go to a game, but then made me pay him right away like 40 bucks. Like, hey, no, I didn't agree to this. <laughs> I don't think we've seen the Rangers, though, yet. I think that's one of the teams we haven't seen yet. But I feel like no matter what game we go to, freaking Prince Fielder's on the damn team. It's either the Brewers or the Tigers, and now it's the Rangers. So. Got uh, top 158 is Lucas Sims, and that's the insert for this pack. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a second insert. That's my coming to 2014 boom and drum. Freddie Freeman. It's obviously no box stoppers in any of these boxes here, so nothing oversized. So I don't have to worry about that. Allen and Ginter is the thing where I'm going to have to start worrying about how I'm going to ship those. I remember last year I had to give some people two packages because I didn't, didn't prepare for the possibility of uh, those large oversized. 
Thursday, 29th, 12.10, DT says. We've got so much going on in May. <laughs> you need to take a nap. You're like conking out over there. And he's asking if I'm in. Jake Johansson, Bowman Chrome Mini. This looks like a Molina. It is. Yadier Molina. Of the Clan Molina. There can only be one. Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod. I've dropped so many viewers since Dead <laughs> This is awesome. Oh, I just picked one up. Okay. Someone came in. All right, so. I think we might have something here, and we do. Bowman Chrome Refractor, rookie card autograph for the Marlins. Jake Marisnik. Kind of hoping my camera will focus. There we go. It's kind of hard to do when there's a cat in the background. See that? These cards are so mirror refractory. Uh, 300 to 500 on that one. And after this, we have four packs to go, which means we have one more autograph. And after that, then we should be out of hits unless we end up with an extra, which I don't think is going to happen. Bowman is not known for that. Oh, we've got another hot pack. This will be our third hot pack of the case. So that's kind of cool. So this one's going to be a Blue Wave hot pack. Be cool if one of those was an autograph. We start with Bobby Coyle, Brian Regira, Mookie Betts again, Cody Reed, and the last one is Preston Tucker. And behind that, our insert is a Miguel Andujar of the Yankees, 96 in the top 100. So that's our third wave hot pack. Two blues and one black. Mark Capel. Third to last pack of this the final box of my first ever Bowman case break. All right. Start out with DJ Davis Bowman Chrome Mini. Then we've got an upside down John Lackey 1989 Diamond Refractor with Santiago Nessie Blue Chrome Refractor Parallel, which is numbered to 250. Can get that. That's kind of in focus. All right, we're getting getting kind of to the end here. Almost done. Almost done. Down to the penultimate pack of the entire case break. You want to open this one? No. No, this is a this is good luck. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you. What? Hmm. The dev. Hmm. All right, and we've got our final auto. What? Oh. Yeah. So we got our final autograph of the case for the Rockies. Kyle Parker. And this is not a refractor.
So we got one pack left, and barring any surprises, that should be the last hit for this case. Jose Bautista. Final pack, final box. Almost over, and we're going to beat 1230. We've got a Jose Reyes black paper parallel. At some point here, my camera will focus better on it. I hope. Well, there goes the mini. We'll just kind of tuck that away there for a second. That one is number 225. I think this card has seven days to live. <laughs> there we go. It's number 225. <laughs> and then what fell out was uh, Masahiro Tanaka Bowman Chrome Mini. So that's a pretty cool pull. And that's pretty much it. So that uh, that's how we end the break. So I kind of had a feeling going into it that uh, since everyone else and their mailman pulled a Jose Abreu autograph that I would not. So I feel a lot better about not... Uh, like, well, we end on Jose Abreu, but not the autograph. I feel better about not uh, charging... Uh, an arm and an eyeball for the White Sox slot. I believe some people were charging 300 bucks for that. So, well, that does it. So, just a quick recap. Uh, we've only got one paper auto. I know some guys like Brent were pulling just tons of these. So, this is a uh, Hunter Harvey, who uh, Deb tells me is for the Orioles, but I'll double check just to make sure. Um, otherwise, we've got a nice stack of autos here. I think the best one being this Black Wave, number 25, Michael Franco for the uh, Phillies. Uh, we do have lots of dupe autos. Uh, and I know uh, the Phillies, there's another Michael Franco. The Phillies, the Rangers, and excuse me, the, uh, the Yankees pretty much owned this case break. Tons of their autos. We do have a blue wave uh, autograph, and that one is numbered to 50, so it's probably the number two hit, I would say, of this uh, break. So congratulations to uh, all those with these fantastic hits. So, And uh, thanks again, everyone, for joining this break. This is the first time we've ever done one for St. Baldrick, so $150 should be going to that uh, for cancer research. And just remember, if you're late here, um, the next one is Alan and Gitter, Charity Case Break, the big one that we do every year. That one goes towards um, Big Brothers Big Sisters. I'll be doing a case. Steve from the Case Breakers will be doing one as well. Uh, so that'll be 300 bucks total going to uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters. We both will be putting together prize packs, uh, $5 per entry to, to uh, get your name into that drawing. Uh, and we're hoping to raise $1,000 for that charity. Uh, really hoping we can get there. So uh, congratulations again. Thanks again to Deb P for swiping up the last dozen or so slots. So that's huge. So maybe next year we will shave our heads. But uh, my wife says she needs $1,000 to do that. So, <laughs> All right. Well, uh, happy Sunday, everybody. And uh, may the fourth be with you. Bye.